In this tutorial, we will be covering toolbox menu in our Aura software. Toolbox menu is located in the bottom left corner of your Aura software screen. You will be presented with your info section at first. First, you have your pointer. Pointer allows you to double click on any of the images and open them up. Next feature is the cursor measure. Cursor measure allows you to hover over any of the images and get live XY coordinates with the relevant radiance value for each of those XY coordinates. Next, we have our view section. View section allows you to zoom in. You can also zoom out. You have the first menu is the pan menu. Uh, this feature allows you when zoomed in to move around your image. You click and hold and move your cursor around. The last feature allows you to zoom out to the original view. Once clicked, click on any zoomed image and you will zoom out to the original view. Next, we have a range. Once you have multiple images opened in your viewing area, um, once you click your arrange, uh, which is the hand icon right to the right of the word arrange, uh, you'd be able to move your images around and reshuffle them. Next feature is called the shuffle feature. Once selected, you hover over any of the images and you click. Once you click, each click takes you to a different image type. And then, of course, you will be able to view your information, X-ray, if present, and then back to your the original photo overlay. Next, we have the measure feature. Measure feature allows you to draw a region of interest. Now you can draw different shapes. The first one is the rectangular region of interest. Next is the um, ellipse. Third is freehand ROI, which allows you to draw an ROI to your liking. You would be able to move your cursor and draw any shape you like. Fourth and last is grid ROI. Once selected, you will be prompted with grid size. Now you can pick different sizes depending on the number of wells you wish to draw an ROI over. Let's say we select the four by six, click continue, click, drag, and then you'd, you'd be able to draw your grid. Now, of course, to delete all ROIs, you right click anywhere on the image and click delete ROIs. Next is our label feature. Right next to the word label, you have the first icon, which is um, to allows you to add an annotation. Once you select that feature, click anywhere on the image, and then you would be able to annotate, be able to move the annotation around. You can have multiple ones and so on. Um, if you wish to remove the red line, you can click anywhere on it and then select hide line. And now you'd be able to just have the label without the red line. And lastly, we have the measurement manager. Once an ROI is drawn, you can select the measurement manager, which is the ruler right next to measurements, and you'd be able to see the data. You can, of course, edit your columns, add any more um, columns, depending on what you want to view. But of course, we are in bioluminescence mode. We would be interested in the total emission, which is photons per second. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. <laughs>